Hi, this is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors. And so many of you are always asking me for fish recipes, and yet you're very afraid of making fish at home. So I'm gonna give you a tried and true method for making fish fillets. And it's gonna taste like you made it in the restaurant, but you made it at home. So I'm gonna make a red snapper fillet today, and with it, I'm serving a sauce that is heaven in a bite. It's called a sauce vierge. So the first step is we're gonna score the skin. You need a sharp knife. You're not gonna cut all the way through, but you're gonna make several slits in the fish. Here, this, there we go. Before I put the fish into our smoking hot pan, I'm gonna salt and pepper it on both sides. Okay, first you get the pan so hot on the stove and then you put in an oil and the oil is gonna get very hot, almost to the point of smoking. Let me show you. All right, I want a good layer of oil and oh, you can see the oil is getting nice and wavy here and that means that it's very, very hot. The pan is hot. We're gonna leave this in the pan for a few more minutes until it gets almost to the smoking point. Now I'm ready to add my fish. This oil is really hot. I'm adding it skin side down. Woo! And see how it's curling up? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mash it down. going to cook for about four to five minutes. This is an uncooked sauce, the sauce vierge. And first, I'm going to add olive oil, about a half a cup. There we go. beautiful little cherry tomatoes, which I've cut up. Some olives. This is so Provencal, all these ingredients, capers. And pine nuts go in here. That's a nice crunchy flavor. And then a little bit of oregano, which is also such a great flavor, and marjoram too. Both very Provencal and lemon zest and some real lemon. How could this be bad? This is so beautiful. I'm gonna serve this over our fish fillets and it's gonna be the perfect complement. A little bit of olive oil here. And it's so pretty too. What kind of wine would I serve with this? I'm gonna ask Michael Romano, our wine expert, to come back and talk to us about serving wine with this fish. This is Michael Romano from Romano Brands, and Michael is gonna tell us about pairing wine with fish. What do we serve with this Provencal dish? Well, nothing is more ideal than a rosé from Provence. Oh, this is yes. a Provencal dish, the flavors of the Nisois olives, the capers, the, the tomatoes and the pignoli, the, the herbs of the oregano and the marjoram match perfectly with rosé. This dish mm. was made for rosé and rosé was made for this dish. Yes, yes, that's what I drink when I'm there. So why don't we taste that? Oh, the good, food? okay. May yeah. I? Yeah, pour me some. This is Maison Belclaire. Mm -hmm. Put the Provence Rosé. Right. This is an award-winning rosé from Provence. It's well known in Provence, the southern shores of France. So we can pretend we're on the southern shores of France. Why not? Uh, Asante. Asante. That is still delicious. Mm -hmm. A little rosé. Michael, 
You can come eat with me anytime. I'm always ready. Always ready. <laughs> this is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors, pretending that I'm in the south of France.